are you Brit? Karen? <laughs> I made this lovely t-shirt um, at a community center on my street. Most of the other people were between three and seven years old. But um, everything was going perfectly well until one of them asked me what I do for a living. So I had to go on explaining that I'm making a documentary about the legal and financial implications of climate change for energy-related investments to a five-year-old. <laughs> so yeah, I'm an environmentalist, so who's up for some climate change jokes? Yeah. You weirdo, that stuff's not funny at all. <laughs> Anyways, um, I think there's definitely like a psychological aspect to being an environmentalist. Um, for example, when I have to go for um, a quick shop to get a new loo roll at the grocery store, this inevitably turns out into a very complex analysis of the relative benefits of FSC certified versus recycled versus softest kittens. <laughs> um, and by the time I've uh, settled for the tree replanting scheme, I've normally peed myself. <laughs> so like Ronald, I live a lot of my existential crises at the grocery store. <laughs> Organic prawns from Ecuador or locally farmed salmon? Well, if the prawns sail to England, that's fine. Otherwise, the salmon's better, but only if it's Freedom Food endorsed. So I waste another few minutes looking for transportation information on the packaging. By the time that happens, I figured out that only the green beans are cocky enough to uh, brag about being flown from Kenya. Um, by then, I've wasted about 15 minutes in the refrigeration aisle. I ha my cart is completely empty, and people are starting to look at me as if I'm some weirdo with a packaging fetish. Um, at which point, my lovely boyfriend shows up and just throws a big bunch of factory farm mincemeat in my cart. I recoil in horror, but his eyes quickly tell me that my little um, animal welfare sermon is completely out of the question. So instead I move on to the canned food department for the ultimate labeling challenge, tuna. Now, there's three types of tuna cans. The first one has no information on it beyond allergy advice, contains fish. Very helpful. The second one is dolphin friendly, and the third one is fished by line and pole, if you know what that means. So instinctively, everybody wants to go for the dolphin friendly stuff. Who doesn't want to be friendly to dolphins, right? <laughs> but then again, that only means that unlike its competitor that only contains fish, which probably did kill a certain number of dolphins, <laughs> this option spared the dolphins, but just killed every other type of sea creatures possible. And the only reason you don't see in the label, dolphin friendly, turtle slayer, <laughs> is because it just wouldn't sell. <laughs> so in order to remind myself of which kind of tuna I'm supposed to buy, um, I've invented this little joke. What does the tuna stripper tell her clients? Wait in line if you want to see me on the pole. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so I'm the ultimate party pooper. Even when I go to the restaurant with my girlfriends, I'm always the one who blurts out, did you know that tunas are magnificent creatures on the brink of extinction? Right as they're eating their sashimi. And when I'm feeling particularly bitchy, I'll even look at my pregnant friend and go, I really wonder what all that mercury is doing to the baby, eh? <laughs> and that, even with all those arguments, it won't stop me from eating tuna once in a while. Of course, that's followed by an intense session of self-hate and a complete ban of all proteins for at least two days. Of course, there's the odd moment of grace where I stumble upon some organic, locally sourced foie gras made from geese who naturally and freely decided to ate themselves to morbid obesity and liver failure. <laughs> but most of the time, I devolve in some kind of internal bargaining match with my conscience, which goes something like, okay, so I bought the free-range eggs and the fair trade banana. Can I buy the bacon on sale? <laughs> Does a happy hen offset a miserable Miss Piggy? <laughs> so I'm thinking to myself, saving the world can't be about making every single one of us a hypocrite who has um, guilt and fear and an anguish whenever he goes to the grocery store. There's got to be a more efficient and enjoyable way of doing this. And that's why I'm making a documentary. Thank you.